Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And in today's on cheap quick tip, I'm gonna attempt to show you five really cool tools within the fillet command in five minutes. So let's get into it here. And the first tool that I'm gonna show you is simply the plain Jane out of the box, regular old fillet command. So I'm specifying a constant radius of 10 millimeters here, and I'm going from one face to another with a nice smooth tangent to tangent to tangent transition here. So we hit the green check mark and boom, there is our first fillet, one down, four to go. The next trick that I'm gonna show you uses the same parameters to start the fillet. So I'll begin a fillet here, 10 millimeter radius, and I'll pick this edge. But in this scenario, what's happening is there's not enough room for this fillet to fully develop. And so on shape is gonna do one of two things. It's either gonna move this edge inward. You'll notice if I click on that edge and I look here at the diameter of that edge, that diameter is 52.28. Well, in the original sketch, we can see that that diameter is supposed to be 58 millimeters. That's probably what the customer wanted to hold that edge at. So let's go back and look at that fillet, that fillet two that we created, and we'll notice that there's a check mark here for allow edge overflow. And based on that check mark being either on or off, the original edge diameter will be held or the edge will move in to accommodate the fillet radius. So we're gonna uncheck that option, hit the green check mark, and then our customer is gonna be happy to see that we were able to hold that diameter at 58 millimeters. All right, two down, three to go. The next type of fillet that I wanna show you is what's known as a full round fillet. Now, if we look at this original sketch, we can see that we have an angle here of two degrees, meaning this inside wall is tapered. And sometimes when you've got a taper angle, it's difficult to calculate what the radius should be for a full round fillet. This is where the full round fillet becomes very helpful in on shape. So I begin the fillet feature command and I go to this tab that says full round. And with full round, what you do is you pick a face on one side and a face on the other side, and then you pick a face to remove which will be replaced with a nice smooth tangent fillet. And so the radius of this fillet, as well as the angle of tangency are all being calculated automatically based on those two outer faces that you selected. Pretty cool stuff, the full round fillet, definitely one to add to your toolbox. All right, let's move on to fillet trick number four. I'm gonna jump into a section view here using the front plane to show a section view. I'm gonna take a look down here at the very bottom of this mug. And what I wanna do is create a fillet, but I want it to be elliptical, not circular in nature. And so I begin the fillet command and I choose this edge down here. And now I'm gonna check the option for asymmetric. And so you can see here that I can make one of these radii larger or smaller and leave myself with an elliptic profile instead of a circular profile. And this can be very handy when you're in kind of a tight corner and you need to create a fillet and there's not quite enough room for that fillet. Well, maybe tweaking this option to asymmetric will help you get out of that jam and allow you to create the geometry you're looking for. The asymmetric option in the fillet command, very, very useful. Okay, four down, one to go. For this last one, what I'm gonna show you is a fillet here on this handle, and you can see that there are a lot of different angles blending between this handle and this face of the mug. A lot of different angles here because of the nature of that lofted handle. Well, a lot of times when you're in this scenario and you go into a standard fillet command, you really don't get results that are aesthetically pleasing. And what I mean is that the distance from here to here is much greater than the distance from here to here or down on the bottom side, the distance from here to here. It just doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. It looks like it's almost like a huge fillet up top and then a much tighter fillet down at the bottom. And that's just because of the nature of the different angles coming together. Well, in a scenario like this, you can change the measurement type to width. So here you can see I'm using a width characteristic for this fillet. And now this distance from here to here looks much more consistent. This distance from here to here looks much more consistent. And this distance from here to here looks much more consistent than it did when we were using the option for a standard radius. So instead of holding the radius of the fillet, I wanna hold the width between those points. We hit the green check mark and that looks pretty darn clean. Let's repeat that command down below here. Once again, using the width option for our fillet. That looks really good. Let's jump out of that section view and there we go. Five different fillet tools that you can add to your toolbox in just five minutes. 
Let me know down in the comments, did you learn anything from this quick tip? Do you have any questions for me about the fillet command? And of course, if you're enjoying this series, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for the next episode.